So the four-year wait is finally over. Day one of the grandest event in world football. And a grand welcome to you as you join us for our live coverage of what we hope will be a game that sets it off in style. Just have a look at it, feel it. This really is the best of the beautiful game. Emotion at fever pitch and the players are ready. This is, of course, the Maracanã. It is a vast stadium, which many, and rightly so, consider the spiritual home of the world game. Crowd rises for the national anthem of Germany. The imperative for everyone Three points on opening day. Well, Peter, I can tell you that both managers will have stressed the need for a very strong start here. Both have also indicated a, a front foot approach. If that is the case, then I don't think we're going to be complaining at the end. I certainly hope we'll be eulogising. There's an awful lot resting on this, and we'll probably end up reflecting on that. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Timo Werner. He's quick and direct, Peter. Loves to play on the shoulder of the last defender. And he's always looking to make that run in behind. I think having someone like that up front makes the opposition defences think twice about playing such a, a high line. And pushing them deeper can create space, of course, for midfield. So he can be a real troublemaker. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. No complaints about that challenge, robust but fair. He's been bundled over, that is a foul. So what can they conjure from this one? Oh, smart save, he had plenty to do. Well, I thought a starting position was good and that helped the keeper to judge the flight of the ball and and deal with it well. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or just getting a runner through the middle now. Let's wrestle off the ball. Well, the crowd clearly like what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. available out wide, now it's Insigne, there's the cross. Up towards the flank, Lorenzo Insigne, that's oh, a foul, it could be a penalty. No, the referee's judged that the offence took place outside the area. needed better contact well he did get himself into a good position something for him to cling to Sade no change to the score nil nil it remains and the weighted pass Meret catches it safely Bellotti. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Forward it goes. Over to the left. Hoists it high. And he just whacks it away. Good defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Bellotti plays it out to the flank. Goes for the cross. Too much on that, it's gone out. Goretzka plays it forward. Could plant a goal, he's had a shot! He tried the chip, but it wasn't his best. Look, you've got to have the perfect feel in your boots to, uh, to pull those off.
And it's Insignia. Sane is flag offside. Tony Kroos. Kroos. Botticelli. Emerson. And it's Insignia. Insignia tries to switch the play. Oh, he's not going to get that. Tony Kroos. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Berardi. The ball's come loose and the chase is on. One readily to a big chance! Oh, denied brilliantly! Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Sare looks to clip it forward. Goalkeeper's ball. It's the half-time whistle. So now the team has broken through. It's the one to try. Interesting game up to now. Still goals. Any strong opinions on the first half? Yeah, and despite the scoreline, it's clear who the better side is when it comes to chances. If this is the trend that's going to continue, then there's only going to be one winner here. And uh, I don't think it's going to take too much improvement for it to happen. Interesting half. Has it gone? Oh, that is very close. Now, that's a great effort. There was very little backlog to indicate what was coming. Emerson. Insignia. Insignia with the crossfield ball. Tries to stroke it through. Let down by a lack of accuracy. Werner. A Serbi drives it forward, plays it out to the wing, cuts it out. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Italy just had to make the ball stick. Oh, that is asking for trouble. And he's looking at the referee, but the referee is shaking his head. Germany, it's close! Well, that wasn't too dissimilar to the previous attempt. They're just lacking a cutting edge, Peter. And while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. And the shot! And it's Goretzka. Talk about singling someone out. Well, he's obviously been identified as a menace and they're dealing with him accordingly. I think we can expect more of the same. Shoots! Berardi. Marco Verratti. Hoists it forward. Well into the second half, and still there's nothing between them. Insigne. Insigne provides an outlet. Can he deliver? Yeah, he's fouled him there. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. Yeah, and he has to change. Towering goal! And that is the goal we've all been yearning for. One delightful ball, and the rest was simple. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was.
Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. Italy draw first blood here. The perfect display and the old saying comes to mind when the going gets tough, etc. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Insigne switches it towards the other side. Chiesa just brushed off the ball there. Sarri. Werner, Werner, Werner! Germany are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. And it's Goretzka. And here's Sané. Tony Kroos. Come through and he's had a quick look inside. Shakes for an overhead. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. <laughs> We've played it short. Goretzka, and the finish! Oh, that could cost them. Goretzka appears to be absolutely seething with himself after squandering the chance to equalise. Germany can be highly satisfied with such a forceful response to try and get back on equal terms, but they need a hero right now, someone to step up and convert. They're creating the chances. Emerson, and it's Insigne, that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Now it's Muller. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Germany have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. Tries to get it forward quickly. Chiesa plotting from out on the right-hand side. He gets past his man. What a throw in. Bellotti. No space, no problem, you just cannot stop him. I think that defence there thought they were in good position, they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position, but it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Close, but time for no more. The whistle has gone. And this clearly wasn't the start they're looking for, so they're going to have to bounce back and look to win from now on in. A real test of resolve and of character. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Listen, sometimes going into chase mode can bring out the best in teams, and we're about to discover if this one has the substance needed to prevail.